Hi there, uh, this is Khilik from AppSec Labs and today I'm going to present Belch tools for analyzing binary protocol applications. For example, I have chosen AMF Playground at amfrealspace.com, a demo application for uh, presenting Belch capabilities. So if you set up your browser and the proxy uh, correctly, once loaded, you will see that the AMF application is loaded on the bottom of the screen. Now this is a demo application, a simple application. It lets you to add users and upload the images to a, a demo page. I'm going to enter demo data and submit the request to the server. And as I can see, the data was sent and received, the application is functional. Once we look under the hood, we can see the proxy communication. We see that the data that have been sent is sent in a binary format. This is typical AMF, message broker protocol, which is defined by Adobe documentation. You can have a look. Uh, tools can manipulate selectively uh, several fields in the AMF protocol. As Belch lets you, you can alter a small amount of data. Now, now we're going to take a look at intercepting the communication in the real time. So I'm going to do the action again and now I'm going to try to tamper with the data using the proxy tool. As you can see the data is binary, I cannot handle with it without corrupting it. If I go into AMF folder I can manipulate only selectively uh, data but it's very tedious and very manual. If I want to into, uh, inter integrate a scanner or an automatic tool, I won't, do, I won't be able to do it. So this is why I've written Belch. Let's start up Belch. Belch is an add-on for boot proxy, which seamlessly translates binary protocols such as Java serialization and Adobe AMF into XML over HTTP protocol. This enables us to pen test better uh, Flash applications and Java serialization applications. Because Flash does two-way translations to binary object and from binary object, we'll have to add another listener to burp and to correlate the endpoint with the new listener point that we added. So I'm just redirecting the new the communication through the new endpoint. Now what I have, I have a new window that is the Belch main window. It could be appear differently on Windows. This is the main GUI for Belch. Let's go over the options. The enabled or disabled flag tells Belch to enable or to disable. The directory for Belch login is set via the upper change button. I can change the directory which I want Belch to dump the data into. In the second portion of the GUI, I have the trap flags for request for responses which I can tell Belge to process request or response selectively. Then I can select with which editor or interpreter Belge can work with using the selector in the editor component. Our automation settings will be discussed further. So let's have a look at the communication. If we reload Belge, 
and burp once belch is enabled. So I'm turning on the flags of request and response and I ask belch to start processing. Let's reload the page. As you can see, the data has been reloaded through burp as it has been loaded before. And once the application is loaded, Okay, the page is loaded, and as you can see, the application is loading. Once the application is started to load, I can see that the message broker requests that were sent to the server have been seamlessly transferred by Belch to an XML over HTTP protocol. So I see an XML that describes the AMF object. I can see the command that is entered and the script. I can manipulate any parameters. And Belch turns this XML into a binary object, send it to a server, the server answers with a binary communication output response and Belch can seamlessly transfer it to an XML. So you can see that now seamlessly I can alter any piece of data in that communication. I can connect scanners or automatic tools to the endpoint and let Belch transfer binary to XML or vice versa because most of the scanners can work with XML Peers. Okay, let's do an online interception. So now I'm going to add user, call it Apps Eclabs. I'm going to save it. And as you can see, this is the XML representation of the Benai communication that Belch seamlessly transferred the object to. As you can see, there is a lot of fields that are not accessible using the internal AMF object editor. I can see that the source is a user service and the operation is create. I can change it to delete, update, etc., etc., into enumerating AMF functionalities. You can see that the name string has the AppSec Labs value. If I change it as any so based uh, protocol. I'll change it to appseclabs.com and then I will turn off the interception. If everything works correctly then I should see appseclabs.com inside of the application data And there it is. So we know that the data has been tampered correctly without corrupting the data. Let's have a look at the server responses to our uh, posting. This was the original request. Okay, here is the user service. This is the original request. 
it is very difficult to understand. As, uh, although you can see user service and create, it is very difficult to manipulate the data here. This is the original data, AppSec Labs. This is the edited request as it came out through work and badge with the modified value. This is the original, so this is the original response by now without not human liberal and this is the badge representation of the same result which is a more a uh, tester friendly user friendly to understand that is that this is a small demo the same thing can be applied to java serialization as belch seamlessly transfers java serialization communication into xml and vice versa thank you very much for using you can download the belch at appsiclabs.com have a great day